Hello guys, recently my student has cracked SD2 offer from PayPal and SD1 offer from Amazon. I am going to start my new journey in PayPal as a software developer engineer too and uh, this is a full stack uh, role. And Many college students and working professionals are facing difficulties in getting high paying job offers off campus from product based companies. In this video podcast, we are going to discuss in detail all the strategies, tips and tricks to be followed in off campus, LinkedIn, Resume. DSA, OA, CP, full stack development and system design. So you can also generate similar offers for yourself. So make sure you watch this video till the end very carefully because it will be very fruitful and very beneficial for you. Ram Ram. So my lovely student Suleiman worked in a service based companies for over 2.5 years, but he never gave up guys. He kept practicing daily. He kept toiling hard daily. And finally, the result has come and he has achieved such a great offer. We all are very happy for him. Why are students failing to crack offers from top tech companies in 2025? Why? Because guys, most of them are preparing only easy standard DSA problems from popular influencer DSA sheets, right? But in the online assessments of let's say Amazon and PayPal, they are asking hard unseen DSA questions, story based questions on hacker rank. And now those questions are LLM proof. Okay. So the bar has severely been raised. Okay. So you need to do hard level DSA plus OA plus CP training to make sure you can crack those rounds in the interview. Also guys in the interview as well of Amazon and PayPal and all the top product based companies, they have started asking medium level questions, hard level questions, but which are new in nature or with the follow ups, which are new in nature. When you look at the problem, you will not feel that you have looked at this problem before. It will be totally new for you. So basically in the AI era, companies have increased their level and what they expect from you is your pure thinking skills. Every time the question is not going to be difficult, but it will be a little bit new and challenging. So all you have to do is improve your thinking skills and practice your problem solving and thinking skills as much as you can. Ram Ram. Let's understand the off campus strategy, the LinkedIn strategy and the resume strategy followed by Suleiman. Yeah, so I think the first and major step when it comes to uh, changing job is shortlisting. So okay. getting shortlisted is one of the toughest things to be honest. Okay. So I kept on applying to a lot of job portal and uh, I did not get uh, updated or uh, I wasn't even getting shortlisted or getting the OA links. So after that I got into Kumar Gesser's uh, resume and LinkedIn optimization. So I started getting, I started uh, doing my resume reviews and uh, I kept on updating my data with all the things that I've done in Zoho. And yeah, so when after all the uh, resume reviews and uh, LinkedIn reviews and all that, I was able to get my ATA score to around 85 to 89. So earlier your score was low, right? Yeah, it was I think below 60 or something. So and this transition did not happen immediately. It took some months. No, it was a step by step. It was a step by step process. So everything is so from giving the proper metrics on what I've done in my com- previous company and uh, highlighting the key points and my tech stacks, everything. So it needs to be as accurate as possible. Okay. And uh, like, and like, how did you exactly ga- ga- got those Amazon OAs and interview link, the PayPal OA and interview link? Did you have to apply this final time or the da- yes. HR directly contacted you? Um, so in this case, uh, what happened was that at this point of my time, my LinkedIn, my resume was strong and my LinkedIn had all the, uh, profiles, like my lead code, my geeks for geeks, my code coding ninjas and all that. I had my uh, certificates up- okay. uploaded. I had my tech stacks, what I worked on. So I, I, I optimized my LinkedIn as much as possible. And because of that, the recruiter started contacting GitHub me. might be good as well, right? Yeah. So the networking was, uh, yeah. well, so after that, uh, my, uh, LinkedIn profile got into recruiters attention and uh, by that, through, I think the last one was a recruiter contacting me directly in my, so for LinkedIn. Amazon and PayPal, both of them, their recruiters contacted you. Yes. Right? So the recruiters okay. contacted me through LinkedIn, okay. asking my details and, uh, okay. sharing OA links. Let's understand the online assessment, online coding DSA round process of Amazon and PayPal. So Amazon OA is a typical two DSA approach followed by their leadership principles. Uh, okay, so you're saying that there were two DSA questions in yes. Amazon OA. So yes. Can you tell me like the first DSA question was on which topic? So the first question was on bit manipulation and greedy approach. So, okay. so this question, did you know it in advance or it was a completely new question and was it an easy question or a hard question? I uh, know. So the thing is that uh, when it comes to OA, you need to have the intuitive approach on what is there. So they'll just give you a big text, a big uh, bold text. And Paragraph, all that. Story based Paragraph. It will be a story. You need to understand what are the key metrics that we need to take. And uh, based on that, we need to bring a proper solution. Okay. So, so like, was that, did you know that question in advance or it was a new no. question for you? This was an entirely new question. So I did not know it in advance. And what is easy one or a hard one? I mean, 
the question was the in order to read the question was hard but once you got the approach on okay if i do this and i'll get the answer so it was like a trial and error basis okay. so if you are prop if you have done your homework properly if you know how, how can i bring my bit manipulation into greedy approach or uh, how bit manipulation actually yeah. works so with that you will be able to yeah like you you said me one more thing like we, as we discussed that it was not apparent in the question that you have to do the bit Correct. magic but uh, if you like try to understand it deeply then you understand that you have to use the bit manipulation right yeah so okay. uh, more questions uh, you need to typically start from the brute force so whatever you have to do okay. at least make a working solution at the start okay and the so second what, question was based on which topic sulaiman so the second one was dynamic programming so it hmm. was like a 2d dp approach okay okay, okay. so like uh, were you able to immediately solve those problems and get it done or was it a hard experience no 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 so if it's a typical dsa question it would be uh, fast because it will be like Uh, straight to the face it will be like bp or greedy or something both were new questions so yeah so it was like a paragraph like uh, what amazon does something they'll give it as a paragraph and you need to yeah, yeah. bring about a solution from that so you are saying that you got their perfect solution in the end only when the time was yeah. going to end right um yes so then it comes to i think i was uh, stuck for more than 30 minutes on what is what exactly the question was because i couldn't properly get the question yeah, yeah, but it. once you got once you get the groove and uh, you'll yeah. be able to write it properly okay and like what was the total time they gave you for those two questions in um So, I think it's 90 yeah. minutes, right? But what yeah, not for the just the two question. Also, there's a leadership principle question. So, okay. typically together it was 90 minutes. Okay, okay. So after the Amazon OA, you must have gotten the interview. We'll discuss about it in a minute. But what about the PayPal OA where you yeah. got the SD2 role? The main. So PayPal, PayPal again had uh, two DSA questions, yeah, uh, yeah. a query question, and followed by few MCQs on Java. So the in the PayPal OA, the two DSA questions are on which topic? So one was on binary search. Okay. And another was array with prefix sum. Okay, so the PayPal is always very popular for asking binary search questions in their OA because you must have seen in the course also there are multiple PayPal OA on binary search, right? Yeah. So and you said that there was one SQL query questions also and then Java plus React MCQs also. So can you act, uh, explain us here that why were the MCQs based on Java plus React? What was going on? So I I got the role for full stack. So mm-hmm. in that uh, React was the front end and Java was the back end. Okay. So MCQs was purely on uh, major majority was on Java plus Spring Boot and a few okay. questions were on basic React. Okay. Got and we also had a uh, SQL query function. So it's a medium level query, but okay. if you know the proper structures, you, you can, can easily do them. Okay. Now understand the process of Amazon and PayPal. So Amazon was purely on site, so I had to go to their office. Yeah, like, uh, these days, these days I'm discussing with multiple multiple students their interview experiences. All of them are saying that the uh, interviews are happening offline these days. Okay. Yeah. Because you know, na those apps are coming. Okay, yeah, so, so the I mean, uh, yeah, is or all the rates. Yeah, are, yeah. So when it's offline, then there is no uh, like you are totally like it. It totally depends on your skills in the offline because yeah. you are they are looking at you, right? Yes. So in the Amazon first round, like uh, what happened? Did you ex- had to explain the approach on the whiteboard and then write the code in the laptop or in the code editor, or was it completely the whiteboard? And the it first was, round was based on what topic? It was DSA systems and what was going on in the first round? Basically? Yeah. So first round was uh, DSA. Uh, it was a greedy type of approach. It was very like uh, unknown unknown question for me. So it was okay, very. Okay. So in the interview also the unknown questions are coming. Yeah. So okay. Amazon they asked you they asked you very tough questions. So they also give you no details. So the question would be very vague. So okay. one of the key things that they look is that how how are you able to tackle the edge cases? How, how are you asking the proper questions to them? Okay. So without asking the proper question, you won't be able to solve it all. So you need okay. to uh, get the metrics. So they won't even give you the constraints. Okay. So means all the coding interview etiquette needs to be followed. It's not like yes. a lead code problem where everything is mentioned. Yeah. Anywhere. Nothing will be given. They'll just give you okay. since it was an onset for me. Uh, two recruit. I mean two interviewers were sitting. Um, they just give you so and so, so and so. And it's actually a nice way to figure out which candidate has you know what level of depth of knowledge. Yeah. Okay, so okay. in the Amazon interview, like uh, in the DSA question, whatever was given to you, it was finally based on which topic when you figured it out? It was greedy. Uh, finally, it was a greedy. Uh, but it it was a greedy of a popular lead code question. But uh, okay. what they did was they split it into three half. So first, you need to make the three different questions into a single question, and then you will be able to solve. Okay, they are doing nice tricks on you. Anyway, yeah. so after that, like in that uh, DSA question, was just you know many people do this like this. They just. Uh, explain their approach whatever approaches they are getting they write some pseudo code and they get it done was it like that in your case or you had to write the whole code perfect code no uh, it was whiteboard but i had to write the clean code so okay. the code should be properly structured so it's not like uh, let's say the code is 100 lines of code you shouldn't write in a single method so you need to split the methods accordingly so okay. let's say that's a iterative approach somewhere somewhere you're going to iterate so instead of iterating single by single let's call a method and get the data so something okay. like that. Okay. so and the code was tested on all type of test cases as well right the driver yeah. so the test cases it's not so they were we weren't provided with the laptop and all that mm-hmm. so the test cases um, they will give you first uh, they will keep in the mind they will have in their mind the edge cases as well mm-hmm. so once you written a code they will ask you to test it with the already given question uh, given our input So with that, if you test, once it works, they'll start start changing the input. So like, what was your duration for the first round, Sunil? So everything was forty-five minutes. So the first okay. round was forty-five. Everything. So it happened. All, all the interviews happened in a single day. 
Okay, so the second interview happened immediately. Yes. So, so what was the topic of the second interview? What happened there? Second interview was on high level design. Um, so it's a popular high level design of. Uh, they'll give you some sort of an app. So you okay. need to talk about the metrics. You need to talk okay. about the trade offs. How do you handle edge cases? What? How do you make it faster? So you dealt with the HLD round as well, right? Yes. Now what happened in the third round? Um, third round was another. Uh, third round was an LLD for me. Okay, low level design. Yeah. So LLD again, they have, we need to have the proper structure. So solid principles. You need to have okay. uh, not only solid. That's so Yagni. That's this. So there are various different types of low level design oh, architecture. Yeah, yeah. Many things you had to do in the LLD. Yes. Round, so right? it was that there were design patterns. So okay. what if we are using bridge uh, factory? The singleton. So okay. The trade of saying the solid principles need to be followed very accurately in the LLD yeah. and also you might have to use some DSA and algorithms if needed, right? Correct. So in the round, they weren't focused on DSA or algorithm, so they were more focused on your coding architecture. Okay. So how clean you write the code? How you properly structure the code? If you're going to write a MVC type of pattern, how do you keep the model view controller? Hmm. So how do you approach from the API all the way till the DB persistence? Okay, so you are saying that having a deep knowledge of uh, LLD and HLD is very important to crack yes. these type of rounds. Yeah. So after the third round, what happened in the fourth round, Sulaiman? Um, fourth round was the DSA. Was it, was it HR managerial round or DSA no, round? No, what DSA. Was? It was DSA. Okay, so fourth what happened round. in the fourth round of DSA? DSA and uh, they asked me to design a proper structure of uh, an architecture. You'll f- probably find it in Google. Okay, so, so you are uh, saying that DSA and system design both were asked in the last round. Yeah, so it was basically like that, but it was very tough. Um, you have to find out how can I do it. Um, so mm-hmm. I was like for first 20 minutes, so the interview gives you some snippets on what yeah, to do yeah. or what not so to do. So whenever they ask you like the hard DSA system design questions, it's generally that bar razor round. Okay? Yes. So yeah. like, uh, for what, for what duration did that round go on? So it was again 40, everything was 45 minutes. Um, so if in every interview, they also grill you on leadership principles okay. and, um, the last one DSA was. Very tough, but uh, in the end, I was able to bring about the solution. So it was like a yeah, you are Kumar student, you will always solve yes. Okay. So it was like a BFS so type of approach. You got like after all the rounds happened on the same day in PayPal, or no, um, not exactly the same day, but we I had around the one or two days gap between each and every interview. Okay, so you had one or two days gap between yes. each interview. So what yeah. happened in the first interview in order to know from you? So the first one was DSA, mm-hmm. um, so purely DSA, they asked me two questions, um, and one was. I think, yeah, so one was basically you need to do prefix, I mean, uh, a greedy type of approach. Hmm. The other one was some prefix kind and of. What thing. was the duration of that round? So, PayPal, every interview round goes on 60 minutes. Interview. Okay, so in that interview, was just saying the approach enough or you have to do many more things? No, like um, you have to start from the top. So, the brute approach and okay. you need to uh, keep skimming down to the most optimal. And did you have to write the code and all? Yeah, so test cases were present. I had to solve all the test cases. And this time, because of the code editor, it's very easy to check what's going on, right? For the yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> it's actually a bit difficult than the Amazon interview. Then, yes. So in, when it comes to online, you have to write the proper code yeah. and it should work. So yeah, uh, there were around 20, 25 test cases and okay. you have to solve everything. Um, I started off with the brute and then uh, came all the way till optimal. And, was and you were able to pass that round, right? Yeah. So like after one day only they called you for the second interview. So what exactly happens when it comes to PayPal is that they schedule interviews at a slot of two. So first and second round will be um, scheduled mm-hmm. based on the result. Third and fourth will be scheduled. So what happened in the second round? On what topic it was? Um, second round was on high level design. Okay. So now what happened in the PayPal high level design round? So and how were you like uh, explaining the approaches? Were you making some diagram in the yeah. online round or what was happening? So they will give you an online platform. Okay. You have to make the diagram. You have to talk about the trade off. So when it comes to high level design, it's open ended question. Okay. So it's not like that's one solution. Um, that can be numerous solutions. Okay. Um, the thing is that when it comes to these design kind of things, you have to have proper communication with the interviewer. Okay. You have to tell what you are thinking and if it's okay with them. If it's not, then uh, they will give you a suggestion. So why not? Let's use this. So let's take for example, what kind of DB are we using SQL or no SQL? So okay. we have to get this kind of data and we have to talk. So it's basically like you're doing a feature in your company. Mm-hmm. You have to talk, you have to design, you have to do the product management and all that. And uh, yeah. It, since it's open-ended question, you would have to have the proper communication skills when okay. it comes to either. These tips will really help with the system design rounds, right? Yeah. People should know that they should not take the same DSA mindset to the system design. Yeah. In DSA, it's you know always one answer only in the end. But yes. in system design, it uh, depends on your communication with the other person. What are Correct. the requirements of the other person? What they are thinking? What kind of solution they want for their use case in their company? Right? Correct. That shows you know you have a deep level of knowledge and you can sustain with the team. Yeah. So I think that's the main reason. That's how the system design rounds are conducted. So. Yeah. The second round, what was the duration? For how much time did it go on for you? 60 minutes. Okay. So like the PayPal rounds all are 60, 60 minutes compared to them. Or all scheduled at 60 minutes. After the first two rounds were done, like how were you feeling? Like will they call you for a third round or not? Um, yeah, I was pretty confident uh, and uh, 
like i i, I was thinking maybe i could have done like i said i level designs are open ended question so no matter how good you do you always have some sort of uh, thinking of okay what if i add used to this one what if i add used that one okay. so it's a very common aspect but if, as long as you have you are given them a working solution as long as it's a proper thing there's no need to worry okay okay so like the third round you got after how many days so they called me the next day um so yeah they called me the next day stating that they would like to schedule the third round and this time the third round was based on which topic what was going on third round they are they was an llc kind of question um so they are to they asked me to design uh, apis and all that okay so like uh, last time we discussed you said that some bfs was also going on in that llc something like that yeah 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 so in this llc you have to keep approach of um like the proper design uh, like uh, the uh what kind of stuff you have to write and uh, how do you maintain the security so when it comes to java you have to focus on the technical aspects the technical security aspects as well hmm. so paper is a financial company you have to be strong on your uh, security so solid principles to be followed nicely like the spring security and all right yeah spring security and um, the principles needs to be correct so even if your code if you, even if you have some flaws on your code as long as you can understand what is threading uh, how, what kind of stuff happen when you use a static block and uh, what come because production production environment is a multi threading product so okay. what kind of issues arise when it in a multi threading aspect you have to know the frameworks you have to be hands on on everything yeah, it's like really a test of developer to make sure that he can yeah. work at paypal as sd2 yes yeah, so <laughs> in this they won't uh, consider your time complexity space complexity yeah. as they just want everything secure and safe and yes. like, as per company yes. the data should be secure okay so after this uh, what like the fourth round what was it name what was it hr plus managerial round or what it was so it was, was a uh, selection discussion round what was no it was a uh, managerial round so okay. uh, paypal calls it a leadership round Okay. So yeah, in that there would be a senior most a senior most person from PayPal yeah, uh, yeah. comes and talks to you. It's a non technical kind of stuff. Some might ask you technical questions, but for me it was a non technical stuff. We talked about the leadership principles. We talked about how to secure customer data. So okay. yeah, so basically we like, talked. Were there any behavioral questions like how will you behave in such a situation or what was in the leadership? Yeah. So like, the questions some, are. Can you give some example like what kind of question they might ask in leadership principle for SD two? So it's all incorporated. So they ask you like let's say. um you had some sort of misunderstanding with your manager how would you approach it and uh, oh, okay so basically you are saying that we need to have the knowledge of those things also like right yes so you need to give the proper example so mm. what happened in your company mm. let's say if there was a misunderstanding how did you resolve it um what kind of feature that you developed so let's understand the dsa preparation strategy followed by our lovely coding student and one to one mentoring student sulaiman ram ram wasn't the good at all when it comes to dsa so you were totally time. beginner when you came in yeah. the program right so i started off the beginners uh, beginner batch and then okay. started completing all the questions okay once that is done i went on to pro batch and uh, started doing that question i thought you were attending the daily live yeah, i was attending the daily lives uh, even if i miss i would uh, make sure oh, to sorry. come and watch the video, watch the recording videos and uh, not only that it was since there are more competitive programming questions and uh, online oh, assignment questions, questions so that also helped me with my intuitive approach so i was able to understand the like the text what they have written and yeah, uh, the new new that. questions right yeah so okay i think oa and cp was my key, like uh de- made me develop my core thinking skills yeah the problem solving skills you are yeah. able to develop with the oa and cp questions